My name is Paul Christensen, and I'm a faculty member in the Department of Classics here at Dartmouth College. All right, so to start off, I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about your background. Where are you from, and where did you study? I am from New York. I was born and raised in Westchester County, just north of New York City, and I did my undergraduate degree at Dartmouth, actually. So I'm a Dartmouth alum. I worked in business for about 10 years, and then I did my PhD in Ancient Greek History at Columbia University, and I came to Dartmouth directly from Columbia. So what do you like the most about teaching? I love teaching, and I think the thing I enjoy most about it is working with really bright students who bring fresh perspectives and ideas to things that I've been working on for a long period of time, and replicating the process and joys of discovery as they look at material that I've studied frequently, and they think through things in new and interesting ways, and they ask me questions and cause me to reflect upon what I think I know, and to get to experience that with them is just extraordinarily wonderful. So what do you research here, and what about that subject attracted you? My research falls under two main headings. One is ancient Sparta and its history, and the other is sports, with a focus both on ancient Greek athletics, but also sports in the modern day era, and it's more specifically the relationship between sports and political systems, both ancient and modern. Now, why do those subjects interest me? I think that both of my research interests spring from an underlying fascination with how societies form in the first place and then continue to function and cohere over the course of time. We tend to take the idea that there is society and that it continues to function for granted, but the question of how societies form and why they continue to function is actually a really profound and complicated one. And the ancient Greeks are a great place to study that sort of question because they thought very profoundly about this. And particularly in the context of a democratic society, they thought very deeply and at great length about how democratic societies can continue to function smoothly and continue to exist over a course of time. Subjects which, as we can see in the United States, can have some real currency and some real resonance with what we're going through today. And would you say that there was one particularly memorable experience that happened while you were teaching? Absolutely. So when I first started teaching when I was a graduate student at Columbia, I had a group for an entire year because Columbia has a core course called Literature Humanities and I taught in that core. And you keep a group of students from September through May. And I can remember very clearly in February working with that group and realizing how much progress they had made intellectually and personally that they had grown tremendously. Their ability to write was much better. They were thinking more clearly. They were working smoothly together. And I had an epiphany that you know, education really works. When it's done the right way, education has a profoundly positive impact on people's lives. And as a teacher, I get to participate in that all the time, which is just an extraordinarily wonderful thing. All right. And what are some of your favorite classes that you teach here? Is there a particular course you're looking forward to teaching? I have to say that one of the charms of being at Dartmouth is that I get to teach pretty much what I want to teach, and so I enjoy all my courses. I think I teach very different kinds of courses. So I teach the big introductory course for the department, CLST-1, which typically enrolls like 150 students. And it's sort of a big survey of some of the more interesting features of Greek and Roman civilization. And that's really fascinating for me because I get to think really broadly across Greek and Roman civilization, which I don't get to do otherwise. So I tend to focus on much more narrow subject matter in my research. But I also get to expose it to a big room of people, almost all of whom haven't studied Greece or Rome seriously before. And so just learning how to explain what I know to them is a really a great experience, but also the, all the feedback that I get from them in terms of all the different perspectives that they bring to the material can be great. The other classes I teach tend to be smaller, and that's a very different kind of experience so with 15 or 20 people in those classes, we're not only working on the material, but we're also working very intensively on skills such as public speaking and writing. And there, I get to know the students much more personally, and that can be really fun as I get to understand who they are and what makes them special. But I also get to work with them intensively on a one-on-one -on -one basis and get to see them get better at things which are really important for them going forward, like writing and being able to speak in front of a group. 
and thinking through and solving problems using qualitative evidence in the form of text. All right, very nice. And is there anything in particular a future student should know about you in order to be prepared for one of your courses? Uh, well, I think I take my work seriously. I to go back to something I said earlier, I really do believe in the power of education, that it can be, when it's done the right way, truly transformative. It makes people into better versions of themselves. I don't think it's something that we should take lightly. I take my job very seriously, and I expect my students to do the same. That doesn't mean that we can't have fun in the classroom, but it does mean that I expect them to come to class all the time, to be prepared, and to work hard consistently, and to be excited about what we're doing. And my hope is that if I do my job well, in terms of being prepared and thinking through about what we're going to learn and how we're going to do that, and I come to class prepared, and my students come to class prepared and ready to work hard, that we can accomplish some really amazing things together. All right, thank you very much.